it's December in Texas and it's gonna be 60 degrees today so I thought why not so I'm gonna smoke some baby back ribs today take advantage of the nice weather and it's been six months since I smoked anything so why not check it out All right, this is a baby back rib. I already pulled the little membrane in the back, so it's time to season. What I'm gonna do is use the mustard as a binder, and then I use my own ingredients. It consists of garlic powder, onion powder, some sugar, brown sugar, cayenne, and paprika. Paprika, I can't say the word. And some salt and pepper. And anyway, I mix all that together and then I put it in, in one of my old McCormick bottles. Alright, just spread some mustard on it. All this is doing is helping the seasoning stick to the ribs. By the way, if you can get some gloves, get gloves. I don't have any. I'm gonna turn it over and do the same thing. Alright, well I'll... I do not recommend powdered sugar. I bought that and I do not like the way that looks or the way it spread. Okay, I'm almost at temp, so I'm gonna put it on. There she is. I try to get between 200 and 250. But with the weather today, I'm just gonna go ahead and put it on and I'll have to finish it in the oven anyway, I bet. Okay, I'm using hickory for wood. Put a few chunks in there. Apple juice, every 45 minutes. Okay, there's a few things you have to have when you're grilling or smoking. You gotta have a hat. I had to put a hat on because I got thinning hair. And I don't wanna get cancer. A shirt, a cooking shirt that has a hole in it. And a really stupid apron to show your maturity. And then one last thing. Some natty or whatever your drink is. If you have all those things, no matter how the food turns out, it's all good. That's about four or five essentials that you need when you're smoking meat. That's what she said. <laughs> Cheers. Okay, it's time to wrap, and I use, when I wrap it, I, I put some honey on it, some butter, and then that's brown sugar right there, and this is the top side of the ribs. I put the ribs on the cookie sheet like that, that way when I, because you want the fat or the meat side cooking on the bottom part, so we're going to go ahead and start doing this on the top part, and then we'll flip it. So you put a little honey, a little butter, and I'm just gonna grab the sugar. You just put it on there like that. Now I'm gonna flip it and do the same thing. And then I'm gonna wrap it. And like I said, you want the meaty side down. Okay, there you go. So for about two hours at 275. I said, Mr. Minute Thanks. He said, you don't have to call me Mr. Mr. The whole world call me Mr. All right, that makes it four and a half hours. I just took them out. And I did the little pull test. I had my gloves on, but if you just pull them, see if the bone will come out, you'll know whether it's good or not. And it was good. It was loose. And uh, I'm just going to let them sit for a little bit. Kind of half covered, drink a beer. Then I'll cut them, but you can cut them right now if you wanted to. They're all good to go. All right, there's the finished product. Let me cut them up and we'll do a little taste test. All right, time for a taste test. See if they're competition ready or not. No, they're not. Oh man. They taste good. They're falling off the bone. 
but they're not competition ready. Either way, they taste good though. Okay. Hey, B plus, B minus. They're pretty good. That's how I make my ribs. Thanks. Y'all take care. Later. See that dog right there? Watch this. Every time I grill or something, I like to turn my speaker on. Just wanted to show y'all how this works. It's like a drug to her. I have a Beats pill, and when I turn it on, it makes this noise, and she goes ape shit. See, she knows exactly what that means. She's like, let's go out here, cause you're about to drink beer and grill. <laughs> anyway, I thought y'all find that funny.